why did why did the show create such vastness in the universe, like creating like black holes and like uh, all these different things? It seems like a waste. <laughs> why, can, why can't he just create Earth, the Sun, like what? what Right, right. The question is, why did Hashem create such a vastness in the universe that can go on really for billions and billions of light years? Uh, it seems like a waste to have a sun and an earth and a human race and Am Yisrael and a Torah and uh, keep it simple. Uh, this is the scientific principle called Occam's Razor, and that is always try to explain things in the simplest way possible with as few things as are as are necessary. Uh, the short answer is, uh, we really don't know. Uh, I, I, I can't tell you this. All I can say is that we do believe that, well, well, okay, Kabbalistically, the way, I mean, I'll give you what Kabbalah says, but we don't really understand that either. Kabbalah says that the gap between the ultimately spiritual infinite God and the physical world is so unimaginably vast that there have to be a series of contractions and limitations and concealments to get from Hashem to this table, to get from Hashem to my physical body. It can't be a one-step process. It has to go through, the light of God has to go through uh, an infinite number of different transitions and limitations and simsumim, simsumim are contractions, and his labshus, being enveloped with kisuyim, with different covers. And the vastness of the universe is kind of a description of the process of how the spiritual light of God can get concretized in ultimate physicality. Now, I understand that that itself is something that we don't fully, uh, fully understand. Uh, but on some level, I would say on, on the simplest level, I think the vastness of the universe is something that can inspire a person as to the greatness of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And that itself is something that's very worthwhile. <laughs> you, you think about this. Uh, this is literally, Bishvili Nivra HaOlam. A person has to say, Hashem created the whole universe just for me. So we think it's just the earth. No, HaOlam means the universe. In other words, all of these black holes are there, so I should revere HaKadosh Baruch Hu. He did it all for me. Now you might say, gee, that sounds like a waste. I mean, you know, we're so important that he has to make black holes. The answer is, yeah, we are so important that he had to make black holes. Uh, meaning to say, if this inspires a person in Avedis Hashem, that, that's enough of a reason to do this. Now, you may ask me a kasha on this, but wait a second. All of these things are recent discoveries. So 100 years ago, 200 years ago, 300 years ago, they didn't know about black holes and the vastness of the universe. Well, number one, in Chagiga, Chazal do describe the vastness, and although they don't use all the technical terms, Chazal did understand that idea. But number two, the Chavitz Chaim said, as we get weaker in Amuna, Hashem has to show us more and more signs so we'll recognize the greatness of Hashem. In simpler times, people didn't need all of these proofs or all of these demonstrations. But we're further and further away from Hashem. So Hashem shows us the vastness of his presence. So we actually get to see things that earlier generations didn't because we need it. By the way, this is how they explain Kabbalah as well. You have the Kabbalah of the Ari. So people say the Ari revealed Kabbalah, meaning there, most of Kali Yisrael did not know any of this stuff. The Rambam, again, that's a little controversial, but most of the Rambam didn't know any of this stuff. What's the pshat? The Ari is greater than the Rambam. The Ari is greater than, uh, than Rashi. What's going on? The short answer is that as the generations get weaker, they need ideas that bring them closer to Hashem. Earlier generations didn't need it. Because if you think about it, you know, what do I need, what do I need Kabbalah for, really? In other words, I believe in Hashem, and I'm miming in Hashem. And that's all that matters. Why do I care if it's through this sphere, this sphere, this thing, that thing? Why is it important? In truth, it's not that important. But as we get weaker in our emuna, we need more and more light, so to speak. And therefore, certain ideas were revealed in later generations that were not needed. In fact, the Arizal himself said, the Arizal himself says, 
with all of my Kabbalah, all of the complicated, infinite, and intricate worlds that I am describing, my goal is, the Arizal said himself, that I should daven like a two-year-old child crying for his mother, just to reach the simplicity. Mimela, if you already were praying to Hashem like a two-year-old for his mother, you didn't need to know all of these things, you see? So this is why there are revelations that are deeper, perhaps, than revelations that were available to earlier generations.